Hi, welcome back. In the previous session, we have discussed about objectives of metrology and definition of measurement. In the current session, we will be discussing about standards of measurement. In the definition of measurements, it was mentioned about predefined standards. Now let's see what are they mean for. A standard is defined as the fundamental value of any known physical quantity as established by national and international organization of, of authority which can be reproduced. Standard can also be defined as something that is set up and established by an authority as a rule for the measure of quantity, weight, extent, value or quality. For example, a meter is a standard established by an international organization for the measure of length. Standards play a vital role for manufacturers across the world in achieving consistency, accuracy, precision and repeatability in measurements and in supporting the systems. The standards are defined and established by an authority called National Physics Laboratory NPL. The National Physics Laboratory was established in UK in 1900. It is a public institution for standardizing and verifying instruments, testing materials and determining physical constants. NPL India that is NPLI was established in 1947 in New Delhi under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSRIR and typical roles of NPLI include to reinforce and carry out research and development activities in the areas of physical sciences and key physics based technologies, maintaining national standards and ensuring that they conform to international standards, to support industries in their research and development activities by carrying out calibration and testing, precision measurements and development of process and devices. It ascertains that the national standards of measurements are traceable to the international standards. Also, it shoulders the responsibility of assisting in research and development activities in the field of material development. Different standards are available to measure length are called as standards of length. The first accurate standard was developed in England called as Imperial Standard Yard which measures how much is one yard which is shown in figure here. Similarly, another standard was developed in France called as in International Prototype Meter which quantifies how much is equal to one meter which you can see in this figure here. Since these standards were made, made of metal alloys, they are called as material length standards. Now let us see what is international prototype meter. It is defined as the straight line distance between the engraved lines of pure platinum iridium alloy of 1020 mm total length maintained at 0 degree Celsius under normal atmospheric pressure and having a Tresca cross section. The detailed dimensions are shown in this figure here. The graduations are provided on the upper surface of the web which coincides with the neutral axis of the section. The advantage of having Tresca is as it gives greater rigidity for the amount of material involved in it. Hence it is economical in the use of an expensive material. The platinum iridium alloy is selected because it is non-oxidizable. It also helps in retaining a good polished surface as the good surface is required to ensure the quality of the engraved linings for prolonged years. Now let's see what is Inter Imperial Standard Yard. An Imperial Standard Yard is a bronze bar which is having material compositions 82% copper, 13% tin, 5% zinc of 1 inch square section and 38 inches long. A round recess one inch away from the two ends is cut at both ends up to the center of the bar. A gold plug 1 by 10 inch in diameter having engravings is inserted into these holes so that the engraved lines are lies in neutral plane. From this standard, the yard is defined as the distance between the two central transverse lines of the gold plug at 62 degree Fahrenheit, which you can see in this figure here. The purpose of the placing the gold plug lines 
at neutral axis is to ensure the neutral axis remains unaffected due to bending of bar and also to protect gold plugs from accidental damage. The top surface of the gold plug is highly polished and contains three lines engraved transversely and two lines longitudinally. There are some disadvantages with respect to material standards. The material standards are affected by changes in environmental conditions such as temperature, pressure, humidity and aging resulting in variations in length. Preservation of these standards is difficult because they must have appropriate security to prevent their damage or destruction. Replicas of material standards are not available for use at other places and they cannot be easily reproduced. Hence, one more length standard was discovered called wavelength standard. It was recommended as a new standard of length in the 11th General Conference of Weights and Measures held in Paris in 1960. In this standard, the length was measured in terms of wavelengths of red-orange radiation of the Krypton-86 isotope gas. According to this standard, the value of 1 meter length is 16,50,763.73 wavelengths of the orange radiation of Krypton-86 isotope in vacuum maintained at 68 Kelvin. The substance Krypton-86 was used because it produces sharply defined interference lines and its wavelength was known to be most uniform at that time. Using this wavelength standard, there were advantages found like the length does not change, it can be reproduced easily if destroyed. The imperial standard yard and international prototype meter defined previously are master standards and they cannot be used for ordinary purpose. Okay, I will be ending up this session here. We will discuss about substandards of measurements in the next session. Thank you. Happy learning.